relatively new Asus TF201 dock. I went on YouTube to look for a teardown video of this because I was having a little bit of trouble disassembling it. And the top video had some really bad music dubbed over it that really spoiled the whole experience for me. So, okay, here we go. This is the this is a quick teardown of this. I'm just going to open it and show you how to remove the battery because that's probably why anyone would be inside this dock is to remove the battery. So, first of all, you're going to need the tools. A T5 Torx. I've got my special bit there. Also, you'll need two sets of Phillips. Um, you'll need a number one and a number zero, which is what I've got one in here. That would be it. I'm going to set that aside. And then, I kind of gotten ahead of myself here. You turn the dock over. Usually, there are pads, rubber pads on each corner. Well, I've taken them off. You can see this one, like the other three that, like two other ones in the back, don't have any adhesive on them because um, what happens with these, uh, here's one that does have adhesive. This one got lucky and I, it came out whole. What happens is this adhesive tends to tear. And um, when you go to put the feet back on, it just doesn't work very well. Oop. It also doesn't work very well when you drop it on the floor and it gets a bunch of dust on it. So. You might also need this, some double-sided tape, just to put a little square of tape back on the bottom of the feet so they stick. So if yours tears, no biggie, as long as you have double-sided tape, just clean the adhesive off, it cleans off um, pretty easily. The first thing you want to do is remove four T5 screws along the front edge right here not these two T5 screws which are on the hinge you don't need to mess with those unless you have a problem with the hinge but I'm not going to go that far in this teardown and also four number zero Phillips screws from underneath each of the feet. So I'll go ahead and get that done real quick. Okay, got the uh, screws out. I'm a little off center here. Let me fix that. There we go. Now, something to note here. The front screw for these Phillips, this is a front screw that goes here or here that screw is shorter than a rear screw which is this one which goes here and here so keep that in mind the rear screws under these feet are slightly longer than the front screws so keep those separate the Torx screws along the front edge are all the same length so you don't have to worry about those now, the next thing, possibly the hardest part of this, is getting the two halves separated. Now, before I do this, note that there's a metal part here that looks like it can be separated on the bottom. And then there's this plastic part in the middle. 
and then there's its metal on the top. Well, the bottom part doesn't separate, okay? The bottom part is attached permanently to this plastic via some rivets. You want to start separating at the top and you've got a uh, you've got a number of uh, plastic catches in there that you need to defeat and this is going to be a disaster on camera but because I'm not getting the viewing angle right but there you go I've got one corner by the SD card just be careful and then if you have tools like let's say you got like an iPhone opening tool or something that can get in this crevice use that otherwise um, you'll be taking a little bit of damage on your fingernails and if you use your fingernails like I am yeah there you go you hear some satisfying pops and there's also those catches there in the they're somewhere here in the center so don't freak out if this thing doesn't budge very much just work your way around the edges but be careful because there are a couple of cables that hold this whole thing together and see it's <laughs> see how it's quickly coming apart oh and then uh, again be just be very patient there we go now I've got it turned around that the back is facing us you just lift it up and there it is if you get in here for the first time you're gonna have probably a yellow a piece of yellow tape I've already been in here once before so that tape is like in the other room so anyway to separate the halves the keyboard from the rest of it disconnect these cables one for the touchpad and one for the keyboard use a spudger or your fingernail pop these clips up and pull the cables out there you go also if you're taking a battery out you want to take out this cable right here that uh, goes to the SD card reader right here so there's a there's a clamp at the very back here which you pull up gently and there's another one just like it on the other side as you pull up, yank this cable out from both ends. And then we can get to the battery. I'm only going to show in this video how to take the battery out. Um, the rest of the stuff is probably once you're in here, um, it's not very hard to get to. It's just that I'm not going to explicitly cover it in this video. So you got on this part, you got eight number one Phillips screws that hold the battery in. So let me undo those. Okay, all the screws for the battery are out. The battery just lifts right out. It's held on by this connector. You want to be a little careful uh, getting that connector popped off. You could use a small screwdriver to help you, but it's not it's not uh, really hard to disengage. And there it is, large, flat, seven and a half volts, twenty nine hundred forty milliamp hours pretty hefty battery for a 10 inch tablet now a 
Let's look in. Let's look at this real quick. And here you can see some of the tabs that we had to defeat. There's probably these. One here. One here. Those are those in the middle. And then you have some along this edge. There's a dot connector. There's the USB port. And now we can put it back together. One thing to note when you're reconnecting these cables, like on this SD one, um, you've got a blue, you've got a blue part on the end that helps you insert the cable. Just be sure to, oops. I'm doing this while looking at the viewfinder. There you go. That's the proper way to do it. That white line has to be flush with the connector. Then just push the clamp down and do that on the other side. These connectors for the keyboard and the touchpad are similar. Watch out for that keyboard connector too. It goes in in the very center of the connector. There's some there's some guides on the white part that guide the cable into its proper position. So don't get it off to one edge. You'll know when you get it in there and then just clamp it down. Seal it up with that yellow tape that might come with yours and then turn it on over and now comes the fun part you gotta make sure everything is snapped together start with the center you should hear some you should hear some latching sounds when you press right here by the touchpad and the space bar and then just go all the way around until it's all flat and even if it looks flat uh, just squeeze it together and there's a chance it'll just go pop and keep going around until the pops are stopped and then you can put your screws back in and put your feet back on and that's it <laughs>